You know, not too long ago, Apple launched the M3 MacBook Air, and also the M3 Mac that was launched a while ago, they all have something in common that sort of pisses me off quite a lot, especially now that I have spent a lot of money on acquiring different laptops with different specs, all of them being Apple MacBook Pro. And after going through three MacBook Pros in total, here are what I learned and what I want to share with all of you. And the one thing that they all have in common is the RAM. Yes, random access memory. You know, it sort of pisses me off because it's 2024 and Apple is still selling a computer with 8GB of RAMs. Yes, 8GB of RAM. And it makes me even angrier knowing the fact that RAM doesn't cost that much at all. And Apple is charging you $200, in some cases more than that, to purchase additional 8GB of RAM. If you want to bump it to 16GB, you have to pay $200. When I was in my first year of university, I bought the 8GB MacBook Pro that was released in 2017. It was good. It was a large bump from what I have used before, which was, it was a Windows 10. It was a quite a slow computer. But I upgraded to the 2017 MacBook Pro and it was amazing. However, after using it for two years, it slowed down massively. Not because of the computer, but mainly because of my work scope. I learned design, I learned video editing, I learned photo editing, I do so many things at once that my computer could not keep up. So guess what I did? I upgraded after two years of using it to a 16 gigabyte of RAM M1 MacBook Pro. Yes, that was when M1 Silicon has come out. Amazing laptop. I was so amazed by the performance that even in 2023, I just recently made a video about how good it is right now because I'm still using it as my secondary computer doing tasks like video editing on the go or graphic designs, all of those, it still works fine after about nearly four, three to four years of using it, it works better than the laptop that I used after two years, which was the 2017 MacBook Pro. However, despite being good, I still had to make the upgrade to my M1 Max MacBook Pro. And the reason for my upgrade every single time has always been because of RAM. With my first MacBook Pro, when my workflow gets bigger, the RAM alert, the RAM warning forcing me to quit application, they pops up all the time, it's very annoying, everything slowed down because it runs out of RAM. I had to close the application, it slowed down my work massively, and I, I upgraded to the M1 works absolutely fine and then i upgraded my workflow i do so many more things so much more effects in video editing software with graphic designs with 3d rendering and then the same thing comes up with 16 gigabyte of ram oh you're using your memory you have to close your application and it really annoys me but i made the purchase of 16 gigabyte of ram still decent so I quit all of the, those applications, I just use one application, it works fine. But then, it sort of slowed down because my workflow again gets bigger. I shoot in more complex format on my camera. And so the file is much more harder to edit. Also with more freelancing project, my business and a freelancing project coming all together. It forces me to upgrade to a newer laptop and I chose the discounted M1 Max, which the original price would be around $4.8 to $5,000. I bought it for about two and a half grand, which was a steal. It is a 64 gigabyte of RAMs, what, four terabyte of storage, and it is a full spec in terms of GPU and CPU core. Amazing deal. And after using it for so long, with so many things I've thrown at it, it has never reached the full RAM limit, except only when I use AI features, then it is consuming about 40 to 55 gigabyte of RAM, but it has never once forced me to close applications due to full storage or full memory. And I tell you all of those contexts because it matters to the final point I want to make, which is why is Apple making laptop in 2024 with 8 gigabyte of RAM? I don't understand. And it's not like RAM is $150 expensive. RAM, based on my research on different sites, the exact RAM that Apple is selling, it is sold for around $60. In some cases, $45. And Apple is selling to the consumer for $200. So it just blew my mind that RAM is quite cheap, but Apple is still selling the consumers MacBook Pro that is 
only 80 GB of RAM. And what baffled me even more is the fact that there are so many creators in the space who share that, oh, the MacBook Air is surprisingly good. Oh, what people do not tell you about the MacBook Air. The 13-inch MacBook Pro is really good. Go buy it. I have seen a lot of people endorsing others to buy the 8GB version. Of course, when we go to watch the video, they say that, oh, if you're just using it for light work, then it's fine, blah, blah, blah. But remember, you're buying a laptop not to use it for one year. You're going to use it for creative purposes. And with creative purposes, there's no limit. Like, a, like my experience, I join the field of creativity and my workflow increase. I demand more power. And then I scrap my old laptop and buy a new one. And then the same thing happened. I keep my old laptop, I buy a new one. And the cycle keep continuing. So why don't we just sort of buy something or Apple, why don't you just offer something that allow people to sort of future proof themselves and not waste their money. And I'm not saying that because I hate Apple. I absolutely love Apple as a brand. Almost everything that I own is within the Apple ecosystem. Why would I hate them? But it just pisses me off the fact that they're selling machines with 8 gigabyte of RAM inside of it and it is worth more than $1,000. That is something that I don't understand. So what is the moral of today's video? Well, when you want to buy something, of course, focus on your necessity first. But at the same time, also see whether the deal that you're getting are worth the money. Otherwise, you should just skip the MacBook Air and buy the MacBook Pro 14 inch or the 16 inch version that will give you more power. It might be a bit heavier, but in the long run, you're not going to regret it. Whereas the MacBook Air, for a lot of people, I would say, it's not really that great of an option. So yeah, that is my opinion on the whole M3 MacBook Air launch. Not only on that, the M3 MacBook Pro, the 13 inch version. I just don't understand why they would put a gigabyte of RAM inside of a $1,000 machine. Even more than that. So yeah guys, maybe you can share your opinions and enlighten me as to why people would want to buy that. If you have your opinion, be sure to share them below. And yeah. Thank you guys for so much for watching this video. Hopefully, I get to make more videos and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks, goodbye, and peace.